What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more modern shenanigans here on the internet. Uh, today we're actually trying to build a deck with Electro Dominance as foretold, Ancestral Vision, and Bloodbraid Elf. Um, this is a May. Oh, it's actually it's not a May ability, right? But it's uh, oh, it is a May ability. No, it's not. You put a counter on it. Um, I was worried that like it's not like Aether Vial where like you have to have it on three in order to play an Aether Vial. If it's on four, you can no longer play like Eternal Witness or something. I, not Aether Vial, Eternal Witness. Um, uh, I don't want Remand because we already have Bloodbraid Elf and Electro Dominance. I want to minimize the number of things that we're hitting with uh, with Bloodbraid Elf that are going to be non-bows. Um, I do like some kind of landish card, like a Coiling Oracle or a... Um, what's it called? What's the other one? Um, oh, Jace is real good, yeah. A Coiling Oracle or a... I'll put two Jaces in. Gross Spiral. Those are the two cards I'm looking at here. Thank you. Villain as well. Splash, just splash black. I don't even think that Kappa belongs there, dude. I think that's a fake Kappa. Alright, so we want to add lands. Um, steam, vents. Uh, breeding. I had one stomping ground. I don't love stomping ground here because you want the things you want are triple blue, double red, double green. We want two stomping ground, and then we want misty and what are the other ones? Um, scalding. Two scalding and two of uh, wooded. This is 18 lands. Uh, I think we're just going to go. Actually don't care about the mountain if they're playing like if they're playing blood moons then we have plenty of mountains already we want to be able to get all of these so this is actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen red sources uh which is fine electro dominance is two red but it's also an x spell so what do you think of reanimator stylus and standard? Uh, ask two questions when that ha when 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 that is um, proposed. What are we reanimating, and what spells do we have to reanimate? Those are my two questions. Uh, as far as blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's good. Green, we have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Okay. That seems good. Uh, I like having this many basics because at the end of Blood Moon, we have double green for our green spells. We have triple blue, so we can search for all of these if we need to. Um, I could see cutting, like... I could see adding, like, a Lumbering Falls or, like, a Raging Ravine here instead of, like, a stomping... Like, one stomping ground. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Raging Ravine is a solid creature land. Um... Okay, this leaves us with only five more slots, which is interesting. We definitely want a two drop that like does some does some work. Uh, I don't love Wheel of Fate because like I, I want it. Letting your opponent draw seven in modern is pretty scary. Is there a better card than Reclamation Sage for what for what we want to do here? I'm just going to add like three to the sideboard. I can see having like one scavenging use in the main and then like two in the sideboard. Yeah, just put a couple of 
surgicals, fulminator mages. I could see two relic. And then we get two more sideboard slots. And also, um, we get four slots. It's either rampant growth. It's like rampant growth. I don't think it's rampant growth. I think we want like a growth spiral type card. But we only have 23 lands, so we might not actually hit the land. I don't love ley lines if we can't cast them. That's my biggest issue. Because if they're not in your opening hand, it's pretty rough. I, w I wouldn't mind like some life gain, though. Maybe it's just Birds of Paradise. Maybe Tarmogoyf doesn't actually fit here. What's our win condition here? Like we're doing cute things, but like what's our what are what are we actually winning the game with? And we have Eternal Witness and like Schizophrenic. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, Snapcaster seems good. Um, actually, does it seem good? Maybe it's not great in this deck. Dang it. What's up, Alistair King? Chris, what's going on, buddy? Nux, a Nux for damage. Wow. I haven't heard of Savage Knuckleblade in ages. I mean, I'd probably rather play Corsair Crew Fix than Savage Knuckleblade. Um, with Jason and Sestral, I don't think we really want Serum Visions. Like, we, we want more creatures and or win conditions here. Um, Tarmogoyfs are kind of iffy. Like, this is 60 cards as it is. So I'm curious as to, like... So my problem with Snapcaster is that it literally has two targets. It has Cryptic Command and Lightning Bolt. Like these are the two targets for You can actually probably cut one electro dominance, which I think is fine. Um how much mana do we have actually have to have to be ele for electro dominance to be reasonable? Like if we want to deal two damage, we're paying six mana. Hmm. I mean, I don't love Goyf here either, don't get me wrong. I just don't think Snapcaster is what we're looking for. I cashed my first Blizzard paycheck, my Rise of Evil pre-orders. Nice, dude. It's a good feeling, isn't it? I'm going to charge my phone while I'm here. I like one Torrential Gear Hulk, actually. That is a solid dude. I do like Torrential. Because it's going to hit the same things. It can't... Actually, it doesn't hit anything. It doesn't hit anything. It only hits Cryptic Command. It actually won't hit Ancestral... I guess I can hit Lightning Bolt. So it hits Lightning Bolt and Cryptic Command. Do we cut one cryptic command? Maybe. By the time we play them, we'll have one of the viable instants in the yard for sure. I just uh, Crassus is interesting. This is why I love this is why I love deck building on stream because there's so many ideas that are just thrown around, and they're always super sweet. I'm like, what about Torn Elements? 3-5 Flyer for 5. When it attacks, tap all creatures defending player controls. 
Put it from exile onto the battlefield tapped. Interesting. Okay, so if we got rid of these, we have six extra slots, which is nice. We definitely need something in the two spot. What about a Nissa? Hmm. I think our four, our three drop slot is, our three and fours. I'm not. I'm looking for twos, or like a bigger, like a five or a six. Hmm. Counter Snake is again a four drop. I don't really want more four drops, guys. Let's avoid four drops. <laughs> Whisperwood Elemental is interesting. That is an interesting take. You should play Strix and Charlotte Sage and Ooh and Brainstorm. Ooh and drop the Cryptics for Force Wills. I mean, overall, this seems like a pretty mad legacy deck. You're right. You're right. Uh, we like. I mean, our spells for Young Pyromancer are not ideal, right? Like we have like six spells that trigger Pyromancer. 13 spells is not a lot for a young pyromancer. Um, what's it what's a, like a good two drop? Do we have any other like reference points? Tarmog of Snapcaster, okay. Uh, Bant Mystics. Mana Leak. I don't you don't want to hit that with uh, Bloodbraid Elf. You want to avoid hitting things with Bloodbraid Elf. The two mana blue green dude. Which one? Coiling Oracle? Coiling Oracle and Gross Spiral are my go-to's right now. Red green mid range. Stringer Geist. Hmm. Lotus Cobra. Yeah, Thing in the Ice is not great. I do like, I keep going back to Gross Spiral just because it lets you draw a card. I do like a search. I, like, I do like one search for Ezconta too. What about like two coiling oracles just for funsies? Then we can cut one cryptic. Like, these guys are just going to draw you a card, right? Let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to be great. It could be terrible. I don't just want the ramp, though. I want to actually... Uh, no, there's no tracker. We don't... Like, I would probably play Corsair of Crucifix over tracker. Like, there's no real... Like, we have plenty of card advantage. I think Tracker is great, don't get me wrong, but. <sighs> See, Knuckleborn Savage is awesome, but it does die to both Dismember and Fatal Push, which is pretty rough. What are some good, like... What are some good finishers? I mean, you might be right about Jace, but, like, it's really hard to just not include a Jace. Why are we testing Sylvan Advocate, though? Like, what does Sylvan Advocate do for this deck? We have no creature lands. It's just a 4-5 for... It's just a 4-5 on turn with when we have 6 man out. Like, that feels weird. I mean, I understand the, the Lotus Cobra, but I don't, I don't see why Sylvan Advocate is doing anything for us.
Wow, Jano said, I feel like we're all over the place on a straight line. And then Nan- Nano Joe, which is almost an anagram, said, you're a straight line, which is bad and modern. I feel like you guys are the evil, the, the evil and the good versions of one another. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, that's a lot of Jace's. Which one is who? That's for you guys to figure out. Oh, Jacob Nagarado, what's going on? I always forget that's you, man. I always forget that. So we're going to play this and this. We're going to have one, two, three, four. We're going to draw a card for the turn. We're going to go to five. We're going to play this. We're going to go down to four. We're going to draw three. Okay. I'm probably the one you should not listen to. Let's be real. Maybe. All right. Let's go to the end. Let's get a breeding pool. We just want to maximize our blue sources here. I'm probably just going to get an island. All right. We're doing it. Actually, I don't hate roast to take out things like Steel Leaf Champion. It doesn't take out five fives, though. Is there, what deals What are deals with five? What's a better roast? roast deal, does roast deal five? I think Rose deals five and Lava Coil deals four. Okay. Let's go back here. I think we want more two drops and less five drops. I like two roasts here. Also, I mean, this is a five four. I guess we're not in terrible need of it. This member does kind of deal five. All right. So, red, green, blood braid, Elfaru. Cast this. Grab ancestral back. Yes. Play this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna have to discard two cards, but I think that's actually fine. I love you like a table. Me too, buddy. Why are you so mean to Bobby Butters? What does that even mean? I mean, he's almost thirty years old. He's not a child. Yeah. Okay. That seems fine. I can discard a bunch of lands. Um, discard forest, discard breeding pool. Whatever this is, I'm in. Morgan, what's going on, buddy? All right, so you're gonna have four, five, six, seven, eight mana, huh? I see. <sighs> cool. I didn't know this was a card people played in modern, but I guess here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Take out the ooze, bring in a wreck sage because they have Utopia Sprawl. So at the very least, we can kill one of those things. Take out one as for told, bring another wreck sage. I 
Uh, it's they they're they're considering they're mono green. They probably don't have that many non basics. play first I will mulligan this hand uh, actually electrodominus makes this hand pretty decent we can kill an elf and uh, ancestral that's pretty sweet keep uh, I can bottom that we're going to draw a bunch of cards so I should have cracked this first. Wow, that was terrible. Oh god, that's obnoxious. Why didn't I just crack in response? I don't know. I didn't think about it. Uh, let's get a breeding pool and then we'll play steam vents next turn. Red, one, red. Done. I can actually bounce that guy with Jace now. That's pretty nice. Activate a creature at Yeah, that was stupid. Maybe I should have actually suspended one of these on turn two. Yep. Yeah, we definitely need more removal in the deck. Jace dies no matter what. I guess we could bounce this and that's about it. And that's pretty brutal. Let's play a bird. Let's play a breeding pool. I don't think we're going to have four turns. So we're more likely to either draw another Electro Dominance or one of the four as foretolds. I think there's three left. Yeah, so... Yep. Uh, for the pre-release, I'm actually visiting my uh, my buddy and uh, longtime supporter of the stream, Jake P, uh, who goes by Guardian Links or Spectral Links. I'm actually going to his store in Utah for a pre-release. He actually bought a game store, and he was like, "Hey, would you like to come out to my store and, you know." be like a guest and I was like sure I don't know how to deal with these creatures my dudes so we play Jace bounce this block here dies to this and there's the problem is there's nothing we can really draw you're gonna be in Utah yeah what area uh that is a good question
I think we're just dead here. Return a dude. And then Jace dies. That's really sad. But that's life, you know? Someone's trying to buy my my Herman Miller Aaron, my old one. So I'm trying to respond to them as well. Yeah, all right, well. But I'll kill your raging ravine. Oh, steam vents. But there's a creature land. Yeah, there's just nothing we can do really here, unfortunately. <laughs> oh boy, all right, so. Two roasts. Actually, I like three and three. Roast seems pretty good. It kills tons of things. Okay, roasts are good. Uh, we can probably take out one as foretold. I don't think we care about scavenging ooze in the main deck. And we have a ton of... We have relic, scavenging ooze, and surgical in the sideboard. Um, eh, I still like Jace here. I really want something bigger. I want something, some like five or six drop that's going to just... And the Roomba just fell off the ledge. So that's cool. Good times. And it just kept going, so that's good. Is Ral good in... in Alright, hold on. This is too much. I can't... <laughs> this is, everything is happening right now. Alright. Oh, boy. Well, so it has, like, a sensor where it's supposed to, like, don't cross this area. It's actually never been in this room before. It's never been in this room. Buh. Oh, come on. I don't know if I like birds. I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize the oracles. Okay, can you pause please? It's not working. Hold on one second. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. If this is the future, you can keep it. I am done. <laughs> like, oh god, why isn't the sensor working, man? Come on. Whatever, I'll figure it out when I'm done. Alright, I like this. I like Electrolyze a lot. That's one of my favorite removal spells. Stop trying to tell me to put Snapcaster Mage in the deck. If Snapcaster could hit Ancestral Vision, I'd be 100% on board. See, I actually don't care about birds because we're not really ramping anything on through. We're ramping it as foretold, but that's pretty much it. God, I love Snapcaster Mage. Is Coiling Oracle a thing? Is that where we want to be? I don't even know. I'm not looking for more Bloodbird Elf hits. I'm not looking for card advantage. I'm looking for ways to win the game, to close out the game. I was, I'm, I'm having Cryptic because I want, because I have As Foretold too. So I'm kind of like hedging on that. Maybe I'll take out one more crypt. Also, like, I love Eternal Witness. I love having As Foretold on four, because then you can play Cryptic Command, bounce your Eternal Witness, and then next turn, play, like, Eternal Witness for free. Get back your Cryptic Command. Like, it's a nice little, it's a nice little combo. The combo's connected to the neck bone. 
is a charm is definitely not a better counter than cryptic command. You out of your friggin' mind. You're out of your gall darn mind. Um Dark Dwellers is gas. What are we hitting though? Can we hit can we can you cast Ancestor Vision off of Dark Dwellers? Because it plays it for free, right? Oh man. Oh, this is actually hyphenated. That's why it's not finding it. It is finding it. It is hyphenated. But it's finding it. Oh, I like two Dark Dwellers. You may cast an instant or sorcerer card. Unless, oh boy, that's gas. Oh, this is the Snapcaster that we wanted. It's also a resilient threat. That guy's amazing. Yes. Excellent. Something, something, dark side. More like goblin dork dwellers. Well, that just seems rude. They're just being rude now. Stick an Inferno Titan in there. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So, yeah, in, in terms of goblin dark dwellers. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! But Kai, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Seven months in a row. We're, we're closing in. We're closing in. Uh, we didn't like Gear Hulk because it only hits literally lightning bolts and the two cryptic commands. It's not great. Um, what about like one? What about one like virtuous Gear Hulk though? Huh. Yeah, I literally, Jake, yeah, you and me both. I just, yeah, I just, yeah. What's the red gear hulk? Combustible gear hulk? That could cost six, though. I don't hate virtuous gear hulk in here. It does die. It's an artifact, though, so it's kind of weak to all the artifact removal, I guess. Meh. Was that loud? Primeval Titan actually is does seem pretty sweet here. Just like one of Primeval Titan. Furjuous Gear Hulk? Chris Furjuous Gear Hulk? I do like Huntmaster. I don't know if I like it over like... There's so many dragons at five though. Which one do I even pick? Like just Thunder... I would rather just play another Dark Dwellers if I was going to do that. But maybe I do just play another Dark Dwellers. I actually kind of like that. I think this is... Actually, all right, let's try this again. We have uh, all the cards in the sideboard, right? All right, cool. I'll keep this. It's got a goif. It's fine. What is this, a goblin and a lurgoif? So a goblin and a lurgoif walk into a bar, right? The brewing streams are a blast. I have a good time because we get to talk about different things. Maybe cut seven lands? With this hand, I can see why you'd think that. I agree with you. Uh, I'm just going to play this and play Tarmogoyf. A Tarmogoyf, if you will. <sighs> Serum Vision into Gideon. Sure. Uh, let's play a land. Gideon's kind of obnoxious here, but... I'm just saying this needs more swamps and bobs and terminates and jund. Huh. 
Ah, oh, comms run. It's the goblin and the Lorgoyf. Yep. Are they missing a land drop? That's fascinating. Well, you know what they say. Free little boofy. Okay, well, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Like you do. Let's get a Steamos McVentums. Are you consider getting rid of green and blue and just go mono red? It does feel your anger and make you stronger. I don't know if that's true. I feel like you might be just making that up. My concern with Baby Jays is that he just dies to everything. I know that's like, I know that's normal, but. Don't be a land. It was a land. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Let's see if they path this. I imagine they will. Like you do. Shoot this Gideon. Let's get an island. Well. We want just more Raging Ravines. Maybe another Raging Ravine is nice. Well, that's pretty good. Can't get another green, green. Yeah, it's fine. It's got a lot of power for a low casting cost. It sure does. It sure does. Yeah, Jace Vern's Prodigy is like Lightning Bolt and Roast. Like, we don't have a ton of value off of Jace. <laughs> yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, Thrag Tusk seems great. See, that's a good idea. You counter this guy too? I have so many absorbs. I'm going to absorb your whole life. They really do have all the absorbs. One other red, probably one other green. We don't have it though, so we'll just get a Steam Vents. Thirteen lands have come out of our deck. Five cards have come out of our deck. Six. Nope. Fourteen lands and five cards. Seems good. On the bright side, if they attack with Gideon, we can block it now. So that's pretty cool. Joke's on you. I got lands for days, buddy.
<laughs> you should play Blue Sun Zenith. I mean, I'm at a point where Hydroid Crassus would be sweet, but most of the time, Hydroid Crassus is not sweet, so. How about, an, how about a Bloodbraid Elf into an Ancestral Vision into something else? Like a Dark Dweller, that'd be gas. There's no way they're countering this with five cards in hand. Not a chance. They're going to opt? Come on, one time. One time. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're going to Snapcast or Absorb, huh? Fantastic. What do we hit off of the Jace? We could literally go like Dark Dweller. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're hitting off the Jace. All right, we're taking out the Roasts for sure. Bring in the Scavenging Ooze. Bring in Fulminator Mage. Take out the Bolts. Just don't care about them. Bring in a Finx because it's resilient. We didn't see like detention sphere or anything. Oh, we we saw um. We saw you, boy. Um, yeah, we saw his Kanta, so we'll bring the Rex Sages in. play first yeah we can keep this we're just going to suspend this on turn one Alright, looking good, looking good. We do need a land, but if we get a land, we can turn a witness to get another land. So that's pretty cool. But we're not going to hit a land now because we drew all last game. We hit a land! What? Yeah, I'm probably just going to guarantee our hitting a fourth land here. Fascinating. Well, now I... Now I feel silly. Go if Eternal Witness is a Nambo. V-Click does kind of fit the plan. I just don't like V-Click that much. That's just me. I do like being able to shoot them for three and then play a Charmoglyph off of it. That's pretty cool. We can also just keep up Cryptic Command here and beat them to death. Uh, the problem with popular games, <laughs> I feel like I always I always start my, uh, my rebuttals with the problem with the problem with popular games like that is that if I was streaming something like Apex Predators, I would be like uh, three thousandth on the list, and I would never get seen by anyone. And the regular viewers that I have that would watch my Magic content just wouldn't watch that either. So it just wouldn't really make any sense. I also don't. I'm not a big uh, battle royale fan. Yeah, 
John, what's going on, buddy? I like click. Well, congratulations, Jacob. Gosh. You don't have to brag about it. I hate click. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're good. We're getting. We have three blue. We have two green, two red. Uh, we're just gonna get a breeding pool. Nope, I'm good. Let's draw some cards. Target myself. What do you do? You just let it resolve. And we hit no lands. That is fascinating. One time. Are you kidding me? How is that real? This one has to get count. Really? Well, now I'm just taking the... The Misty. Now I'm just taking the Father John Misty Rainforest. And we do... We want another red here so we can play things like... Uh, you know, things and stuff and things... I mean, they can actually Wrath here, but then they're tapped out, which is pretty nice. So we get to resolve a Jace and a Tarmogoyf. That would be pretty gas. They're not doing that. Okay. Fendelly click yes or no? I'm going to say, look, I'm going to vote. It has zero votes and I voted? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, now it's one. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we're even. All right, we're doing it. Oh, no, we're losing. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, we're just gonna get steam vents here. I feel like we're way ahead right now. It's pretty nice. It's kind of sweet. Now we have seven mana, so we can actually play Fulminator Mage and keep up Cryptic Command. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool, man. I didn't think people were so divided on Vendillion Click. I thought I was like really unique and not thinking it was that great, but apparently you guys are like, yeah, it sucks. That card is stupid. One, two, three, and then we can get a blue here if we need to. I'm just going to play Fulminator Mage. And I'm going to kill one of their lands. Do you guys believe it? Oh my god, if they absorb this, I'm going to totally Cryptic Command. Bounce one of their lands, destroy the other. Are you ready? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Uh, counter target spell. I guess I'm just hoping you don't have spell pierce. You have spell pierce. No. All right, that seemed good. Apex Legend Act is sort of new marketing strategy on focusing on streamers from instead of the usual market. Many streamers were paid hefty sums to stream at launch, creating a sort of fake hype for the game. As if this is amazing things everyone is doing. Me, I st <laughs> Nice. Yeah, but see, that's funny, because that's literally what Magic did for Magic Arena, right? Like, same thing, right? Yeah, that's obnoxious, but I don't think I care. So you're going to path something, and that's fine. Because I'm going to Electro Dominance this dude and put a Jason to play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
Yep, let's get a forest this time. I feel like we're in good shape, but it's hard to tell sometimes. Let's draw three cards from our deck, and then we'll put these two cards back to do. Put you and you. So we can actually Bloodbird Elf will hit the As Foretold. Um, I think As Foretold can probably come out. We can probably put something better in. Um, I just have it because of the Ancestral Vision. That's the... Really? Teferi, huh? Buddy, let me tell you something about Planeswalkers. Mine are better than yours. Got them. So we're going to hit the As Foretold, which I don't think is great. So let's actually Jace here. Uh, hitting a Tarmogoyf is probably better. We can also just put these two lands back. And then Bloodbird Elf, one, two, three, four. And then we don't know what we hit. No, we just hit an As Foretold anyway. I don't think the one point is relevant. If they have a path for this guy, I'd still rather deal three and then three again. So let's just get rid of Tefri all we can. Nope, don't want to do that. Still don't want to do that. All right, blue, black, red, same. All right. <clears throat> How did we end up? Eight votes for yes, six for no? It was close. It was close. I'm just holding these these Tarmogoyfs in hand because I, I assume they have a way to sweep the board. Why did I kill Teferi? Uh, three, four, five, six is not lethal there at seven. Six does not equal seven. Oh, that's nice. You need to run my Jace. I mean, if they have a Teferi on board and then they untap and go, you know, wipe the board. I mean, it's... It's not ideal, right? Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's play this for free. Let's look at your top card. Logic Knot? No, you can have that. Oh, they just conceded. Okay, seems good. You thought Bloodbird Elf was four? Oh my god, you're a maniac. What an absolute maniac. I kind of like the other Rex Sage, because they do have Search and they do have Detention Spheres, which are both pretty good. I'm actually pretty thrilled at how this deck did. This is this is a good performance. Fulminators were good. Cryptic Commands were good. Dark Dwellers would probably be good. What is Dark Dweller going to hit now, though? Like, you took out the Lightning Bolts and the Roasts. Just Ancestral, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, when you're like, God, I have so many cards, I don't even need to brainstorm. I'd rather just Fate Seal you. That's usually... Wow, turn one turn one Ancestral into turn two Oracle into possible turn three one of these. Oh, that's gas. I like Green Gearhulk, but I feel like it just hits all of the, all of the, like, the artifact removal in the format just hits, ugh, come on, one time, one time, one time. <sighs> Vomit. Vomit. That would have been so good. Vomit, I said. Maybe that's what I don't like about Coiling Oracles, it's just not a land. Maybe, like, Sylvan Advocate's better. 
The two cards I like are Coiling Oracle and Growth Spiral, but neither of them guarantee will land. Two people study their MTG editions. Are you at work, Chris? Really? No land still, huh? Well, that's pretty cool. So we run the draw. Some people have jobs. I mean, I'm clearly aware of that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to ask, Hey, my, hey you're, are you at work, Chris? So knowing that people have jobs is actually what prompted me to ask the question, Are you at work? You see how that works, little Michael? You, do, you, do you understand, little Michael? Are they just countering this because it's like the first thing they can counter? Sure. That card was such a blank. Buddy, that card was such a blank. I wish I could just play games all day and get paid for it. Uh, I feel like you're being facetious right now because that seems like that is what you do. Guys, let's draw three cards. They're going to be like, I will absorb this. Absorb. Why aren't they countering anything? This is amazing. What's it going to be? Don't be another ancestral. All right. I accept that for sure. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Both of these resolve, huh? Fascinating. I wish I could watch magic streams all day and get paid for it. You probably talked about it before. What's your pie in this Modern Horizon card? Modern Horizon card is going to be Leovold. I would love to see Leovold in Modern. I think it, maybe it's too strong. Wow. Joke's on you, buddy. I got basics for days. They have two cards left in hand? Wow, I'm getting rid of this Misty for sure now. You just gave me three lands this turn. You want Wasteland in Modern? Oh, God, no. Please, no. Please do not make Modern like a legacy format where no one has more than three lands in play at any given time. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we actually scavenging you just eat a bunch of their creatures. Oh, Jace, that's cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We do need another red for these Goblin Dark Dwellers, and we just found it. One, two, three, four. Blood, blood Braid Elfaru. Uh, oh, dang, it's too late. We'll still cast it. Dang it. We were like literally one turn late for the Escanta. That's so sad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Steam events is fine. Nope. Well, that was the first time we whiffed off of a Bloodbraid Elf, which is sad, but what can you do? Uh, attack Chase, attack Chase. Really? You have a, another You have another... That's good. That's nice. Sinkhole? You want two mana mana destruction? What is... No, dude. No. No. This is all terrible.
Do you mean Mashi? That was... That was interesting. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So what we can do is go Doblin, Doblin Gark Dwellers. Yep. Yep, target myself. Play a land. Crack it. Get a, probably another Steam Vents. One, two, three. They can activate this guy and just attack us. I guess that I guess that's their entire turn though, right? You can also just look at their top card and make sure it's just garbage. I do like a flow and mage. I'm probably just gonna put as foretold and quilling oracle back. Seems good. Are they going to attack with Celestial Colonnade? Because that's pretty gas. Maybe they're just like, I can finish you off in three turns. Oh, you're going to kill my Jace? Yeah, this is all fine. I would like a way to just deal with a Jace, though. Like, that's obnoxious, right? So let's go one, two, three, Fulminator Mage. I kind of just want to hit the Ascanta too. I wish I had two. That's sad. I guess we hit Ascanta, right? Because then, like, I don't care about this. If, like, you're going to keep your mana up for this guy, it's totally fine. We're going to get an As Foretold off of this. I kind of just want to keep Cryptic Command up. Yeah, let's just keep Cryptic Command up. This dude is huge. I would love a Baleful Strix in Modern. Vindicate would also be sweet. I think Vindicate's good enough. I don't think it's too powerful. Draw three, put two back. Why would Baleful Strix be a bad call? It's a 1 1 flyer for 2. That's a hot take. <laughs> yeah, and a card. I don't think that's a huge deal, man. Um. I mean, it's not like it has flash. Like, you're tapping out. Like, every removal spell in the format kills it. Like, it's basically a Coiling Oracle with flying and that doesn't have death... That, that with, with flying and death touch, which is not... It's not... It's not huge. Dice of Old is actually a pretty, pretty reasonable argument to a lot of things. <laughs> That's, it's not, it's not a, it doesn't even make any sense why it's not a good argument. It's actually just a fine argument. Like, I mean, mo modern decks, literally all modern decks in the format have either four lightning bolt, four fatal push, four path to exile, or any number of removal spells that deal with the Baleful Strix. And meanwhile, blue black control has never been a deck that has historically been dominant in the format. So giving that deck a tool in the form of like Baleful Strix just really is not going to really make or break the format. I 
mean, you're talking about giving a, a deck that historically has not been overrepresented uh, a pretty sweet tool. Yep. What does expropriate go for? I actually don't know if I have one. How would I feel about it in Grixis Shadow? Like, I mean, what are they cutting for it? So we can Goblin Dark Dwellers to hit nothing right now, which is pretty stupid. That's pretty good. I wish that Rex Sage was on the bottom. Um, one, two, three. I can actually get a Blood Grid Elf back and hit that Jace. That seems pretty good. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that was gas. All right. <laughs> Seems good. Now we're back in it, boys. Okay. Uh, I don't have any basics anymore because you got them all out of my deck, so... Joke's on me, I suppose. Now I only have seven lands. Well, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, wait, we still have eight lands, actually, ironically enough. Uh, so we can actually go one, two, three, four. Still keep up Cryptic Command. These Dark Dwellers, though. Let's go. You have one card. Let's go Tarmogoyf. Scavenging Ooze. We'll keep up one mana in case you have, like, Snappy Boy. You have to, you have two cards in hand, though, so I feel like our Cryptic Command is actually pretty good here. All right. If they have a Snapcaster, they can respond to us eating something with their own Snapcaster. I'm actually just going to pass and untap. And opt. Sure. I mean, to be fair, we could still cast these as 4-4 four, four Menace creatures. Like, just because you're not getting full value out of them doesn't mean they're not doing... I want more lands. That's not a land, but that's a solid dude. One, two, three, four. Cryptic command. Tap draw. No. pretty good I hope doubling charm is in modern horizons why are you like this that had to be like the third time you've said that uh, that's fine whatever It's really obnoxious, actually. And we have Bloodbraid Elf and Eternal Witness in hand, so... 
It's like whatever. Any order is fine. Second scavenging is also pretty decent. Yeah, well, as foretold into this, and then Dark Dwellers gets turned on. All right, one, two, three, four. Bloodbird Elf. Twice with the Electro Dominance? Come on. Oh, actually. Oh, that's gas. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's that was wow. We did it. We did it. All right. Well, terminus again. They have conceded from the game. Ooh -wee. All right, we got something decent here. We're looking pretty sweet. We can take the As Foretolds out. I'm not a huge As Foretold fan. I don't think it's doing as well as I'd like it to do. I think Ancestral Vision is good enough on its own with Bloodbraid and Electro Dominance. And as we just realized, uh, if you Bloodbraid into Electro Dominance, you can still cast the Ancestral Vision, which is pretty sweet. Is this too many Roasts and, and Lightning Bolts? I'm not sure. Thrag Tusk. One Thrag over one Dark Dweller seems great. Huge as foretold fan. You like Gross Spiral over Coiling Oracle? They're both drawing you a card. One of them gets a 1-1, one, one, one of you ramps. I, I think we can try. Gross Spiral. It also... Here's another thing. Gross Spiral can also be hit by Dark Dwellers, which lets you just draw an extra card. Three mana, yeah, three mana slot is low because we just took, we just took out the As Foretold. So now we can add uh, something else in the three drop slot. I'm thinking either Savage Knuckle Blade or... God, Savage Knuckle Blade was such a beating, right? But it's not cool. Not, you suggested it after... Like, what? What are you, are you getting aggressive? Like, I mean... I like it now because I've, I've played the deck a few times. I was using the two-drop spot to actually play a third land in, in, in its place, but, like, I've realized that I want more cards when we, we, we just played a bunch of games where we were holding Dark Dwellers and we wish there were more instants and sorcerers in our graveyard. This is this is how testing works. You you figure out what, what, has, what does and doesn't work. So I realized that the Oracle was not really doing what I wanted to do as a 1-1. So now I think Gross Spiral may be better because it lets you... Uh, you can cast it off of a Dark Dwellers. Like I don't, I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why you'd get really salty about that. Four, 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 three seems good. It doesn't die to bolt. How would I know that that was sarcasm? <laughs> I have no way to know that that's sarcasm. Um, I don't know it's so I don't know it's all for sure but like this conversation alone is giving me the impression that you're no offense dude like I, I seriously don't know you from anybody else in the chat right but like uh, your Baleful Strix comments felt kind of stubborn they felt kind of like when someone takes a stance that's like this would be terrible in the format you guys are like this is a ridiculous card you shouldn't reprint it it's too broken like when people have that stance they're usually very stuck in their ways um, guided passage. <laughs> That's nice. Um, so, you know, I just felt like it came from that same perspective. No, no, I mean, like, I don't know. You, I could be totally wrong, right? I don't know. So, um, you know. Notice the number, you know, right. That's what, what that's my point though, right? Like. Usually people use a cap like if they're being sarcastic, they'll use a cap or they'll use a joking emote. Like it's emotes give emotion, like literally, that's what they help do. Hence the name. To uh, to what people are trying to say, because text is hard to read. I just understand that you picked up when I said dark dwellers, but not this. But yeah, well, I mean, like I wanted coiling oracle because it was another creature. Like I don't know. 
and I, I like, I've always been a big Coiling Oracle fan, but we have four slots now. What do we take out? We took out three As for Tolds and one, uh, one Gross Spiral esque card. So, shut up and take my money. Chicken Run unofficial. Twitch won't let me share my one year recent anniversary. It's been a great year to be Frank fan. And here's the many more. Chicken Run on Chicken Run official, or it's Chicken R unofficial. Ooh. Scotty, thanks so much for saying so, buddy. Chicken Run unofficial. Thank you so much for the for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. I think this deck needs more Flint Hoof Force. Wow, that is an old meme right there. Guys, what do we... What's our three drop? I like Corsair of Crucifix. The one man I can't... Thought Scour? Uh, we're not really a Thought Scour deck. We don't really have any Delve cards to like take advantage of it. Tireless Tracker. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, guys. I think about two tireless trackers. What else can we add? I don't want counter spells because we have Bloodbraid Elf. Man, tireless tracker. How about like two coarser two? How about just diversifying it a little bit? We might want another instead of a steam vents. We actually might want another. Well, we have four breeding pools. We have we're we're maximizing the blue. We really want to maximize the green, and the red too. All right, well. I do like Raging. Raging Green is great. Still an advocate? <laughs> I didn't want Tracker at first because we didn't have room. We, <laughs> You guys have to be. Yo, you guys are just trolling now. This is nice. Oh, I do like... Oh, DC Dame. I do like Electrolyzed. Oh, that's gas. I'm going to put in two Electrolyzed. Uh, do we have any cool, like, full arts? No, I guess not. We'll just use old... We'll just use old one. We'll take out one Roast. Maybe we'll take out the two Coursers. We'll put one more of something. Maybe we just want to third Electrolyze. Hitting it off of Bloodbraid Elf or being able to hit it off Goblin Dark Dwellers is gas. All right, let's do that. That seems good. I like that a lot. Do I want just like one mountain in the deck? I know you don't want mountains because blood because of blood moon. So like the reason you put basics in is because if they play blood moon, you want to be able to search these out, and then all your other lands are gonna be mountains anyway. So you don't really need mountains, but they do path us a lot. And there were situations like double red, double red. Well, we we did take out one dark dweller, so actually this might be fine. What does Electrolyze do for any deck that it's in? Like, it's just a solid card. I don't understand these queries. Oh, phone is fully charged, so that's nice. All right. Well, I was looking for three. I was looking for things in my three slot in general. Like we took as foretold out, so they don't have to be creatures. And we did add two creatures. Like we we like we we were just looking for three slots to fill the curve, right? So serum vision is also an option. I just don't. <gasps> um. I can't tell if Swamp Talk is in the chat and actually then like saw us queue up and he's like, oh, I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm going to play against you. Or if this just literally worked out this way, I can't tell. God, Gross Spiral is so good with both Dark Dwellers and... <laughs> I don't think you realized it was me. All right, we're going to play... We're just going to grab a... Yeah, it's probably just Steam Vents. Oh, that was a good hit. All right. Well, ideally, we'll draw a non uh, shock land next turn. 
or non uh, fetch land so that we can actually save the scalding tar any, any land actually because then we can save the fetch land for the tireless tracker on turn whatever The reason we brought in Roast um, was because we actually had our first match was against like a mono green deck where they had like Steelleaf Overseers and Runic Armosaurs. And I'm like, man, so unlike a deck with, with Path to Exile or Fatal Push, like we have no way to deal with four and five toughness creatures. So my concern is they're going to play like a 5-4 or a 4-4 four, four, or a 2-4 and we're just going to be like, I have no way to answer this. So it, it, Roast almost feels like it's kind of necessary. Um... Dude, you're totally fogging me out. So this is a deck that we played that I helped him that I helped him uh, put together with a bunch of fogs in it. Roast is kind of awkward. It could be lava coil. I mean, I think Lava Coil is also fine. They're all going to be... The problem is they're all going to be... Uh, some amount of... Let's get, a, let's get the stomping ground here, I guess. I feel like one of Roast, we just never find it. It's a two of Roast now, right? It's, like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, there's only two Roasts in the deck. Beast Within is good. I mean, I my, my fear would be um, Beast Within and Arclight Phoenix, and then they just get the Arclight Phoenix back, and you're just like, well, that was pretty good. Flame, Flame Slash could be good over Roast. So, I mean, like, I like that Flame... I like that Roast kills Gurmag Angler and Tassiger... Like, those are very relevant creatures that I want to be able to get rid of. Robert, buddy, I miss you, dude. Yeah, this is how we do. Muy bueno. Okay, well. Everybody say hi to Rob, otherwise known as Swole Mike. See, it's amazing to me that Prized Amalgam is only like 87 cents on Magic Online. That is a four of in every deck that plays it, and it is in like Legacy, Vintage, and in Modern. It sees play in like every format, and like a very well well established deck. So it's really funny that it's like, well, now this is only less than a dollar. This probably should have been a breeding pool, but who's got the time, you know? Yeah, because it got opened a ton, is true. It's just... It's just funny, like, card price. <laughs> so I was like, we should have gotten a... This is why we should have got Breeding Pool, because I'm like, what if we draw an Eternal Witness? Swamp Dog, where are your lands? Remember creature in his battlefield? Yeah, and then they're just gonna like make make a dude for you. This is gonna be nice because we're gonna we're gonna counter the the fog, and then we're gonna have an extra dude. Give me my dude. Give me my dude. Give me my dude. No way! Don't you do it, man. Uh, counter this, and we'll bounce your curse.
Got them. Another land? Good lord, these lands are just... Oh, we should have played this. I forgot we had a land in hand. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Guys, it's fine. All right. All righty then. Okay. Can we can they can they fog us with one mana? I don't know. Yes, yes they can. Yes they can. All right. Well, we kind of have to get cryptic command back here. So, 1 2 3 Isn't it weird to think that I'm watching you from half around the world instead of, you know, like, 40? it is actually a little weird. Man, the internet's a crazy invention. Well, we're not going to attack, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, the cryptic command should do it. Two dogs in hand, one two mana, one one mana, GG. What are you? <laughs> one two mana, one one mana. What does that even mean? Fogs. I was like, he's got two dogs in hand. Oh, don't you have headphones? This is hilarious. This is hilarious because I actually, uh, I was, I actually tweaked this deck. We did a deck tech for this. He was like, hey, I want you to play this Fogs deck. And I was like, yeah, all right. And it was actually pretty challenging. It was a fun challenge to like try to build this deck. Uh, let's get a breeding pool. No. Clue it up. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're not going to be there yet. 14, 15. If we hit a lightning bolt, we're actually we're actually doing it. Come on, lightning bolt, where are you? You beautiful lightning bolt. <gasps> That's exaxes. Literal exaxes. Stop asking me to draw, just draw the card. This better be a land. Dang it. Oh, I guess we also had Bloodbraid Elf, huh? <laughs> we had the Bloodbraid Elf. We could have just cast that. I mean, this is fancier. Boop him. Where are your fogs now? Now we can take out these roasts. God, roast has been so bad. No, just kidding. Oh, Bloodbird Elf would have been one short. We needed five extra damage, and the only way to get that was Clue, Clue, Lightning Bolt. Because if we used all the if we used four mana to play Bloodbird Elf, that would have been three damage. And we would have we would have only had been able to crack one clue other than that. So good call. Good call. Let's bring in Fulminaros. Electrolyze pretty bad here. Uh Rex Age seems gouda. Like the cheese. Electrodominance pretty rough.
where is your fog now? Because <laughs> it's because it's, it's like where is your god now? It's basically the it's a similar. Bolt wit bolt. Whatever that means, man. I made some crappy team or rhythm deck in arena. It's horrible. I love it. <laughs> oh, let's see this draw a bolt clip. 14, 15. If we hit a lightning bolt, we're actually we're actually doing it. I'm watching it, hold on. God, the suspense is real. Lightning bolt, where are you? You beautiful lightning bolt. <gasps> that was good. That was worth it. Uh, we'll keep this hand. He knows what I mean. He's trolling me. Would I ever do that to you? Do you think I would troll you? That's kind of messed up, man. Do you play Delver there too? Oh, you're talking about... You're not even talking to me. We're not even having a conversation together. So we have blue, blue. We're going to get a red. We probably want a second green for this Ewit. So it looks like we're getting a stomping ground, boys. Oh, that was my shock noise where I'm like, because ah! it's like, I just was like, what? How did I even draw this? Just like we drew it up as uh, every commentator who's ever commentated says, just like we drew it up, start your engines. We're really, we're running on all cylinders now. We're firing on all cylinders. We're turning the corner. You know, all those catchphrases that they use ad nauseum. Okay, so. <sighs> we can even play Ancestral or Tarmogoyf here. I think we can probably Tarmogoyf. <laughs> Shock noises? I don't understand what that means. What are you saying right now? Thank you. What are you saying? Jelly filled donut. Thank you so much for the welcome back. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You you old jelly filled donut, you. Expedition crap. <laughs> Let's just put this in play untapped. We will play Schmarmagizzle. And we'll suspend this guy. Alright. Well. I wish I could subscribe and we'll have a chance to be on. I hate waiting. Wow. <laughs> it's my subscription and I want it now. Oh, it wasn't a shock bolt. It was a lightning bolt. Shock. No, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. It, where are you if you're not home right now? Oh, God. My stream is behind. Well, that's too bad. That's really a shame. Wow, this is a lot of this is a lot of Tarmogoyfs. Uh we're actually gonna We're gonna Ewit here just to get land. And then we're gonna attack. Uh but we're gonna crack this first because we're not terrible. I mean we are, but blue, blue, blue. We have two green. Yeah, we'll just get a steam vents because it lets us cast Cryptic Command and Fulminator Mage. Do we want a lightning bolt this turn? Um 
it might have been decent just to be able to get these guys up to threes. But... <laughs> yeah, give me that. Give me that spirit. Hold on, I'm trying to schedule my haircut. What is the 27th? That is a Wednesday. Oh, Saturday at 11.30? Could I do that? Should I get a haircut at Saturday at 11.30? Am I doing anything on Saturday? I don't think so. I could probably do that. That sounds like gas. I never get haircuts on the weekend. Frank, I went to the zoo today? Oh, you can't hear me. So I'll just type that the zoo sounds sick. Okay, well, we're going to be drawing some crads here. This gets a creature and this gets a thing. Dang it, we can't do both though. One, a two, a three. Could play another Tarmogoyf. I don't think, as far as I know, I don't think he's running... Um, they could just have Holy Day, too. Hachi machi. Two polar bears playing nonstop for videos was honestly really cool. They were playing nonstop for the videos? Wow, that's... That's good for them. So we can Lightning Bolt, then Lightning Bolt again next turn. That's pretty good. Um... Holy day. Holy day. God, they always have it. Oh, it was an ethereal haze. Oh, dang. See, and this is where it starts stacking up because you're like, oh, you have double Forbidden Orchard, yikes. So they go to like Fog on our turn. They give us two more guys. We take two. Do we get to draw cards yet? God, how long is this taking? I had someone else go just to make over like the game writer. It was, I don't know what that even means. I guess I should. I have no idea. The McElroy brothers? No, I thought Hachimachi was from The Critic. The old John Lovitz show on, uh... I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter where it was on. <laughs> That's not a relevant component to the story. This is nice because we can grow Spiral here. And then we'll get a free card off this. And we can put this land into play off of this ability. And then we still have our land for the turn. So when we draw three, we can play a land. And then we get to see even further down. Further down the rabbit hole. I think we can actually just Dark Dweller's Lightning Bolt. I kind of want to kill one of these, though. These are problematic. One, two, three. So we're actually going to put you and you back. Play this. Go red, blue, green. This gentleman. Buy my book. Buy my book. They gain four life. That bolt does nothing. What does that mean? I mean, it will eventually, right? Like, I mean, if they gain four life when we bolt them, they've gained one life. If they gain four life when we don't bolt them, they've gained four life. Okay, so now they're going to give us a dude. We're going to take two. Buy my book. Now they're going to riot control. Oh, no, they just lost that man. All right, cool. Oh, God. We take two more. We go to eight. God, I don't think I want to play another Tarmogoyf. 
Here comes Peter. This is gas. One, two, three, four, five. We take five and they get to untap play this. Wow. This is gas. If you guys are curious what this deck does, here's a here's here's the literal there you go. There's the deck list. I think we're dead. If we play Tarmogoyf, we take two, and then they just literally tap Orchard. That's insane. So if you're on YouTube and you want if you want if you're watching on YouTube and you want the link, you can just click on this. Or you can search for a Black White Fogs 2.0 Modern Laboratory. It will be on YouTube. That 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 modern deck is not correct. Just so you guys know. You can also just I mean you can see the link here as well, so you can copy that. We're gonna really need a cryptic command. You gotta do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Here comes P. Oh, we're going to one. Uh, no. Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, it wasn't there anyway. I think we're dead. I love it. I absolutely love it. Just such gasoline, guys. Such absolute gasoline. All right. I kind of want Kitchen Finks here, I'll be honest. Like I wasn't expecting the Batwing broom. All right, so I think Jace. I think Jace is too slow, but I don't know. Take out the Electro Dominance. We'll take out one Jace. We're we'll bringing Kitchen Finks. I just want to have more dudes that do things. I want to keep this because any one land is good and we have Ancestral Vision, we have a Lightning Bolt, we have a Growth Spiral. I, I think this is probably a pretty bad keep, but... What is this clip? I bet it's a good one because your clips are always pretty good. I'm gonna get a breeding pool even though I have lightning bolts because I want to be able to if, no matter what land we hit I want to be able to cast gross bar. <laughs> oh that that really uh, that escalated quickly in that video. That's nice. What are you gonna do when you hit a land drop? It was a beautiful little land. I'm 
My name is Chucka Chucka Slim Shady. Alright, so now we're going to get a red source and a green source or a blue source. So probably a steam vents. I think it's more important to be able to we actually don't have any other I think I'd rather get another breeding pool we don't need we have one red but we have two double green spells in our hand god we're just helping them out so much though oh that was such a good hit no that's what we're talking about gross spiral doing some doing some heavy lifting here now we can also we can also eternal jeez nice well, I want to play Finks here because I'm not terribly afraid of what they might be able to do next turn. Chicka chicka slim shady. Burnt. Burnt. Let's get I guess it's I guess it's just steam vents here. Lose yourself you live your life never thinking about the future. Now we can play Cryptic Command and Lightning Bolt? What a time to be alive. We can also play Eternal Witness, get back Cryptic Command, or get back uh, Gross Spiral. I think it's probably more important to save Witness for the second Cryptic Command. Like, just go Cryptic Command, Witness, Cryptic Command. Although we could Witness and then get back Gross Spiral, play Gross Spiral, and then when we, when we do Cryptic Command, we can bounce the Eternal Witness. That's fine. Owner of a lonely heart. Did you guys know that an owner of a lonely heart is actually much better than the owner of a broken heart? It's so much better. Here we go. Oh yes, it's the big time, boys. Looks like we've made it. What land did they just play? Uh, Vesuva. Vesuva. Ooh, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really want to take the Cryptic Command Shields down just yet.
You never seen Vesuva? Yeah, Vesuva was classic. Uh, they used to play with like um, cloud posts. I don't know if you remember cloud post. There's a lot of forbidden orchards. They're gonna batwing broom us eventually. Let's get another red source and another blue source, I guess. So another steam vents. No. Where were you last turn? Man, that would have been great last turn. But we are in a position where we can like cryptic cryptic command. Make a do. Don't batwing broom me, bro. I don't think they're going to. Do we just wait out the fogs? I feel like if it's just a fog, it's fine. The thing we're scared of is like the batwing brooms. Batwing broom. When there's trouble, you can go and ding down the air. One, two, three. Lafinx. Shut up and take my money. 7.5 hype to pre-release with Frank. Alistair Kane, are you going to pre-release with me? What's happening right now? Is that a thing you're doing? You live in Logan? Get out of here. Is that where I'm going? I forgot the city. Is that where I'm going? Is that the city in Utah? I don't know, man. Uh, oh, I see. Chris, I don't even think you have a brother. Chris, do you have a brother? This seems like a trap. Yes, I have a brother. How have I never seen or heard of your brother? That's such a random, like, a random Utahian city to, to have lived in, right? Okay, well, they, we know they have at least two dudes. Two... Yeah, God. I saw the movie, Logan. Same couple times I thought it was great I only saw it once actually but I did think it was good I did enjoy it see this we have to counter oh no God, if they have two, we just take eight here. Okay, that's fine. That's a lot of life, but I think that's better than us dealing, like, taking a million. I talk real fast. She's a fast talker. You know, like a con man. Uh oh, what does this mean? What's happening? 
Oh my god, the Rakdos charm, dude. Wow. That's such gas, dude. I can't believe... Like, I love it because we actually... I think we were the ones that suggested the Rakdos charm. I think the final version of the deck. Maybe that... No, maybe there were Rakdos charms to begin with. What does it, what does it say? Did I keep the... Yeah, I definitely kept... I kept Rakdos charm in. I kept Batwing Broom in. Wow. That was insane. <laughs> also, this is what Swamp Dog does. He actually just opens trade and he's like, here, take all these tickets I have. It's unbelievable. He's the uh, he's a super generous dude. There's two tickets. I'm like, I'll take these two tickets, my dude. Where did that chat go? Oh no. Where did, ah. Hold on, I gotta find him. Chat? Chat. Where'd he go? Dang it. I guess I can actually go to my last round and then click on this. Nope, I can't do that, really? Can I right click on it? There we go, bro chat, all right. All right, that was pretty sweet. Anyway, that's uh, that's probably where we'll we'll end this Shut video for the day. One storm buck. What does that even mean? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving it. I'm just ending this YouTube video. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out manatraders.com if you're looking for a way to efficiently and affordably borrow physical paper magic cards or even magic online cards. They have both services, and you can get 20% off your first three months. Uh, if you use the promo code and the link in my description, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And then be sure to check out all my articles on CoolStuffInc.com where you can get 5% off with promo code Frank5. I just put up an article about Jund Demons and Standard this week, so be sure to check that out. But uh, yeah, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Those definitely help me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.